Yo, my name is Hakuin and holy moly, Tower of God is so much hype, like I know why you're here, you like Tower of God, so you want a similar anime to watch while waiting for the next episode. So my dude, here is my list of the 5 animes like Tower of God. Number 1. Hunter x Hunter. If you just can't get enough of the grueling floor tests in Tower of God, then wait till you witness the dead defying Hunter exam in Hunter x Hunter. The Hunter exam is the primary focus of the early episodes of Hunter x Hunter. Gon, Killua, Kurapika and Leorio have to overcome the perilous, the perilous challenges of the Hunter exam in order to obtain the prestigious and exclusive Hunter license. It's a license that enables one to access immense power and wealth, gain exploration freedom and potentially carve a long lasting impression in the world. Indeed, the rewards are great, but more so are the risks and responsibilities of becoming and being a hunter. It's intriguing how Hunter x Hunter uses ambitious combat failed exams as an essential core to its narrative. Nonetheless, it's clear that this show is, isn't just about the Hunter exam, there is actually more, more to it than meets the eye. The possibilities in this show's world are endless, yet they still manage to remain logical. The world building is intricate, it's full of, it's full of thrill and action. This, story, this show is nothing short of an eternal adventure. Hunter x Hunter is must watch, and this is a warning for me, the fandom is very toxic. Number 2. Made in Abyss Enough about climbing treasures towers, for now let's descend a forbidden abyss. In Made in Abyss we follow Rico, a young girl who dreams of exploring the secrets of the abyss in the hope of finding her lost mother. By taking a leap of faith and diving stage right into the abyss, she discovers of the mysterious gap in Sham's woeful cruelties. Lucky for her, she has her robotic friend Drake by her side. Uh, she, will she survive the harshness of the abyss? Will she be able to reun reunite with her mother? Only the abyss holds the answer. Unlike Tower of God, Made in, uh, Made in Abyss is more of a dark mystery fantasy anime rather than a full action shonen anime. It hovers its lens towards the harsh yet beautiful world within the abyss with utmost character fleshing out and theatrical staging. This show beguiles you into becoming a part of it. Its marvel enamors you as if you were a moth to the flame. Be guided though as you watch the show, a descent to the abyss is akin to a descent to madness. And man, this show is so dark. Number 3. Angels of Death if you crave even more darkness than Made in Abyss can offer, Angels of Death has you covered with a grim dark exploration of the human psyche, as seen through the eyes of, a, of the little girl who just wants to die. A murderer named Zack uh, finds a suicidal girl named Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, you see the same girl, Rachel, Rachel. Uh, he found her in a basement of a building teeming with the psychos who all seem to know her somehow. As they conquer each floor, they learn more about who Rachel actually is and how she got into such a sad situation. It's no masterpiece, but if you looking for a version of Tower of God written by someone, uh, by someone who has obviously read one, uh, read one too many creepy pastas in their time, this, this show is for you. Number 4. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? In the fantasy city of Orio, there is a massive labyrinth underneath it, for brave adventures, glory and fortune can be found within. However, in order to tackle the challenging monsters inside, adventurers join guilds of strong gods and goddesses. However, for newbie adventurer Bill Kran and, uh, no good, uh, no good good will have him, except for his here a goddess with no followers. Together they team up to grow strong and find glory. Tower of God has certain fantasy world elements to it, but it is much more interested in setting up a mysterious world. Is it wrong to, uh, to try to pick up girls in a dungeon is much more of a traditional fantasy world where the world itself sticks to more of those fantasy video games. Both shows are about characters that are much stronger than they appear, trying to climb a tower to violence success. Number 5. The Promised Neverland Grassfield's house is a home for orphans. However, even though they have no blood families, they, all, they are all one big family, that is, until the age of 12 when they are ado adopted out. The kids also know that they are not allowed outside the fenced yard, but one day, two children break that rule. Then, uh, they then discover that the children who are, who are adopted are actually subjected to something much darker. Both says follow characters that are somewhat trapped in a place, they work to unravel the mystery of that place but ultimately have different goals. You also find that they can be unexpectedly dark at times as well. So those were the enemies that looks like Tower of God. So anyways, see you guys next time and thanks for watching. <laughs>